I had no idea myself. It's nine minutes after four o'clock. It's Rick and Suds. I just walked outside a moment ago just to see the kind of weather we're going to ex mm -hmm. be experiencing. It's a gorgeous day here yes, in South it is. Florida. Unbelievable. And if you're ready, I mean, I always get, I just get all quivery and nervous this time of year. We missed it last year. I think it's going to be bigger and better than ever. If you're ready, we'll just go ahead, open the door, sure. and we'll step outside. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, won't you go with us as we join our 42nd annual Turkeys on Parade. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Man, oh, wow. oh, man, it's as far as I can see. I wasn't ready for this either. Look at man. this. This is incredible. Well, once again, welcome to the 42nd Annual Rick and Such Turkeys on Parade. It's coming to you live from the beautiful feather-covered east wing of the WIOD complex. Yeah, and the parade is starting to move. It's coming by the reviewing stand now and leading off this year's Grand Marshal of the parade, Broward County Sheriff Nick Navarro. Wow, look at that, Suds. His float is done in the shape of a giant family tree. Who keeps gobbling? Listen to that. The crowd is just so wow, festive. I guess so. And I can hardly hear the band. But anyway, you know, Rick, I, I think that's not a giant family tree. I think that's the personnel list of the people who work for Nick. It's kind of hard to tell the difference, though. Oh, look. It's even got his new hiring motto. It won't be that one, and it won't be this one. I only hire family because I'm into nepotism. You wow! Could, you could be worst, you could be best, but if you're my friend, you don't take no test. Oh, look at that, and dangerously close to a rap, Suds. Oh, He's actually oh banning God, look himself. At look at that. You know, a lot of people think that he is so far into nepotism, he's actually been neptotized. Wow! Of course, I think, I think what you meant to say was nepotized. But hey, that was close, and that's okay. Man, this thing is just absolutely humongous. Now, here comes the Perrier marching band. Look at that, Suds. Of course, they're drinking the old Perrier with benzene. Remember that? Oh, I sure do. And Well, actually, they're, they're doing that on purpose, Rick. That way, while they sweat under that hot sun, they're, they're actually dry cleaning their own uniforms. Wow. Oh, look at that. I can see my face in them. But that's okay. You can see their face in them, too, because their faces are actually melting. Look at that. Well, benzene is nature's solvent, you know. Now, here comes the WNWS float. Wow, that's gorgeous. Man, Look at that, man. Suds. I like a little fringy thing. It's huh? done in a big steaming pile of bull. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry. It's They're just, aromatic, uh, kinda, too, Yeah, it really is. Maybe it's the fumes that are making me giggle. Could I be. don't know. And look at that. It's got a sign. Oh, I see. Well, it goes along with that big steaming pile of bull. It says it's got a sign that said, we were tissue-oriented. Oh, that was it. Yeah. And look at that. Debbie Ellis is using all of that manure to raise a little tribute to us. Oh, my, my gosh, remember? It's a bed of pansies. Oh, I remember when she called us that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and look at that. Debbie is doing uh, what all cows love to do. She's eating them. Wow. Nice job, Debbie. We should also mention that the WNWS float is being pulled by Debbies. It's a 20 Debbie team. Oh, man, you don't see that often. No, you don't. But or you can't see it to. for a long way. <laughs> well, look at that, Suds. There's the Channel 7 Sally Fitz float. Now, this is unique, Rick. She's waving with a vein in her forehead to the crowd while tossing batteries out. Wow. This is great. She's actually using that vein to wave oh. to everybody. Hi, Sally. Woo. Man, that's man. great. In fact, they even got a little breeze off it. Oh, there's the guy that recently got fired for kicking a cat, Suds. Oh, Remember that? Gosh, sure, yeah. Now, his float is done in the shape of the Broward County Humane Society. Uh, yes, Rick. He's pretending like he's an employee, and, and he's actually kicking the cats to sleep. Ooh. Wow. Oh, God. You know, this might be a good place to take a break. Real good, yeah. Take a little check on traffic, shall we? Uh, I, you know, I wonder how the traffic is building up around the parade route. We'll be back for the 42nd Annual Turkeys on Parade on 610 WIOD. 417 at 610 WIOD. It's Rick and Suds, and we're back at the 42nd Annual Turkeys on Parade. You know, we should probably recap the Grand Marshal because we stepped out and we were just so overwhelmed by it all. That Nick Navarro is our Grand Marshal this year. His float is done in the shape of a giant family tree. Mm -hmm. However, oh, you did point out, though, that it's not really a, a family tree. That's the personnel list of the people who work for him. Yes, but it right. is hard to tell the difference. It's almost like a family tree. 
And he's got his new hiring motto on the side. It won't be that one. It won't be this one. I only hire family because I'm into nepotism. You could be worse. You could be best. But if you're my friend, you won't take no test. Yeah. Way to go, Nick. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Okay, let me see. We wound up with uh, Channel 7 Sally Fitz. She was waving with a vein in her forehead that while tossing great. batteries to the crowd. That was really exciting. Oh, and the uh, the cat kicker. Mm -hmm. That's right. He was on kicking the... Uh, sleep. Yeah, kicking the cats to sleep. Oh, look! This is the Florida State Insurance float size. Wow. And look at that. 60% of it uninsured. Wow. And, of course, that's the part that's flailing wildly about careening into the crowd. And look... They're raising the good driver's rates almost by the second. Wow, how lifelike. Oh, you can say that again, right? And look, right behind them, Suds, it's the FP&L float. Their float this year is a giant air conditioner. And their motto is, you will only sweat when you get the bill. And look at that, Suds. They've got a rolling blackout in the shape of a horse's rear end. It's called... My friend Flicker. Oh, my gosh. Just like real life. Yeah. What wow. a crowd pleaser that is. Thanks for being here. My gosh, what's this one coming up here? Well, that's the Hallandale float. It, it's kind of hard to see it. Is uh, They kind of keep darting in and out of the crowd while turning in front of people. Yeah, that's right. But their, their float is done in the Morrison's Cafeteria motif. As they pass in front of the reviewing stand, watch this. They're going to be giving a demonstration <gasps> of cane poking and entree wrestling. Oh, wow. man, I love that. Oh, look at this, Suds. This is one of our favorites. Oh, of course, we've bet. all paid dearly for this one. Mm -hmm. Here comes the Sawgrass Expressway float. And it's being pulled by one of Vito's tow trucks. And Vito, look, Vito is passing out a sign that says... No, he's not passing out a sign. He's passing a sign. Oh, look, yeah. He's he got says, it off the side of the road. Last indictment before toll booth. Right. Now, we should mention that Vito's truck isn't under its own power today. It's done in the Santa sleigh motif. And it's being pulled by eight tiny grand jurors. Wow. Oh, so oh. here while this float gets by. Yeah. Mm. Well, okay, I think it's by now. Yeah. Look at that, Suds. There's a big Eastern Airlines float. And look at that. They've got a big layout of their new planes. That's where you can fly first class by paying for coach, you know? Wow. I've never seen a plane with bunk seats before. Well, that's right, you know. And their new motto is... You won't need to nap with someone on your lap. Wow, I like that. A little later on, they're going to be doing some synchronized picketing and precision firing right here in front of the reviewing stand. What, what a, a crowd displeaser. displeaser. Oh, look, there. Oh, and following up, still in the aviation oh division. Gosh, right. It's the Northwest Orient Airlines float weaving from side to side. Now, don't make any fun of them, Rick. Uh, at least one of their flight attendants is sober. Yeah, I think. And here comes the Florida Hospital Association float. Well, look at that, Rick. Now, they have recreated every South Florida hospital right down to the finest detail using only medical waste found washed up on the beach. Well, you know, this year they're trying to initiate a new program called swim immunization. Now, that's where you just go out for a swim, and before you can say accidental puncture, you're immunized. <laughs> we even have a, a new tourist slogan here. Come see our IV covered shores. Wow, catchy. Yes, it or, is. Should I say pokey? <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Oh, oh this, this is, is one a of my big, favorites. They I love every year. Every year, they're always here. Here comes the Santa Rhea cab drivers. Now, how did you know that was a Santa Rhea cab driver? Well, look at their hood ornaments. They're still flapping. Oh, oh, oh geez. <laughs> Well, there's the Miami Heat, Rick. And look at that. Even though they haven't won a game yet, they're still keeping their team, team spirit up. They're, they're chanting. Listen, real close. Word number 28. Word number 28. Word number 28. Wow, man. Oh, man. Way to go, guys. Poop it up. Ooh. Little oh. parade fun. I guess that's Coleman, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the, you know, this is one of my favorites. Look, it's a tribute to Lemon Jello. Uh, no, Rick. That's the South Florida drinking water float. Oh. Yeah. I guess it was the chunks that threw me. Yeah. I thought they were pears. Sure. <gasps> Why, gosh. I Look at that. I don't believe he it. made it. <laughs> the president. There's George Bush. Now, his float is in the shape of a giant issue. It features a giant pair of stirrups, one on each side of the issue. And George is straddling that issue while waiting to undergo a vasectomy. Wow. Wow. Vasectomy. 
<laughs> this floats almost by now. It's a long issue. Oh, well, this is, you know, it's just a happy time. Yes, here. it I is. I love well, it. It's nice up here. The crowd's great. Oh, look at this. Uh, this must be the science fiction division. It's a huge black hole. Look at that. No, no, Rick. That's the savings and loan float. And it's not fiction, believe me. Oh, wow. That thing sucks. Maybe we'll get David Paul and Neil Bush to stand just a little closer to that one. Huh? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, we've got David Paul and Neil Bush on the following float. Look, yeah, there they here are. They come. It's done in a variety of chairs. Yeah, and, and every once in a while, someone will come up and take one of the chairs. See, symbolically, what they're trying to do is they're seizing their assets. Oh, uh, what a crowd pleaser. Taking the chairs and seizing their assets. Yeah. Well, here comes Supreme Court Justice nominee John Souter, just in time, too. Yeah, yeah, he's a big fan of George Bush, you know, and his float is done in the read my lips motif. Well, I think you'll notice, just like Souter's personality, those lips are stuck in a permanent yawn. Gosh, yeah, you're right. I'll, I'll tell you what, this might be, uh, while the crowd gets bored for just a moment, this might be a good time to take a break and mm -hmm. take a check on traffic. Okay. So we'll be back on News Talk Radio with a 42nd annual Turkeys on Parade from 610 WIOD. A temporary lull in the parade. As we said there, Mike, the uh, Perrier marching band is in front of the reviewing stand, and they're drinking that old Perrier with benzene, mm -hmm. and they wanted to do a uh, big performance for them. That way they can not only sweat, but they can clean their suits at the same time for the uh, rest of the parade. Now, what we thought we would do, excuse me, since it is World Hello Day, and we had just a whole bunch of people the first couple of hours, and when we left, we had somebody from Sweden, from Denmark, uh, from a variety of Animal. places. Yeah, I thought that we'd uh, make a couple of calls, give away some movie tickets. It's kind of a festive day here. And uh, get them to gobble like a turkey. And at the same time, of course, uh, extending the hand of brotherly love. You bet. Okay, let's go to Miami. Yes, hello. Hello. Uh, I think I can get somebody to say gobble gobble in Danglish. In what? In Danish. <laughs> in Denglish? Well, that's, I like that. Denglish, yeah. That's what I speak, Denglish. Do, do you speak Denglish? Yes. Okay. Well, who do you want to call? These are my cousins I stayed with when I lived in, in Denmark as a student in okay. Copenhagen. Okay. Now, what's the time difference over there? Uh, it's about six hours, so they should be just settling into bed, okay. ready to gobble. Okay. Oh, sure. Prime gobbling time. Prime gobbling time. Well, let me get, uh, where are we here? I'll get a line here. Just laying in those big feather beds, staring out at the northern lights. We should give our people an option for AT&T or Sprint, since we have both now. Yeah. But I, you get hey. no options. Hi, operator. Yes, sir. We're on the air at WIOD radio station. Hi. Hi, how are you? Fine. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. Same to you. That's all. Okay. No, <laughs> no. We, we need to get to Denmark, and this gentleman on the other line has a number for you. Okay. Okay, uh... 01145, I guess you know that, That's right? That's the country code, right? Okay. You're good. Uh, She's great. Three, okay, the, country, the uh, city code is 35. Uh huh. And then the number is 362765. Okay. And how are you billing it paid here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. As much as you can. Get, yeah. a, get a little trinket for yourself, too, okay? <laughs> and send a tip to me. Get off it. Now, who are you? Have a good day. Well, thanks a lot, operator. Now, who are you, sir? Who uh, am I? My name is Kelly. Yeah, okay. I was asking him, but I'll no, take I'm your name over him any day. Oh, so yes. Go ahead. Good out. Good out. Oh, it's... Who is this? This is Craig. Oh, hello, Craig. How are you? Tell him they're on the radio, sir. Craig. Good and good. Beans. No talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mouth beans. Um, we're on the radio in, in the United States. Gee, what's he need, saying? Well, that, I guess that's obvious since I live here. But you need, you need to. You, hey, Denglish. You need to gobble, do scout, gobble like a like a turkey. Denglish. Hans Eric. Yeah. You're on the radio in, in in Miami. Can you make a noise like a turkey? I can make a noise like a turkey. I don't know what it says. <laughs> it's very important. This is probably one of the most important things that we're going to do together. Say like a turkey. Yes, I'm counting on you. <laughs> that wacky They're looking cousin at us. Yeah. <laughs> that wacky cousin yours from the states again. He wants me to gobble like a turkey. <laughs> what about what about what about Greta? <laughs> yeah, anybody else like that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we only, only seen the dead turkeys. They don't say anything at all. 
<laughs> Denmark, home of the silent turkey. <laughs> okay, let me. Here you got to go. They sizzle a little bit when you when you roast them. Oh jeez. <laughs> You know, caller, I didn't even get your name. Craig. Okay, Craig. Uh, you don't speak real fluent Danish, do you? Obviously not. Okay. I, and he knows we're on the radio, but he's not going to bite. I don't know. I think I can get him to. Well, he's listening right now. Hans Eric, please. This is so important. You got to go gobble, 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 gobble. Ah, I say that. Gobble, 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 gobble. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> wow, is that a turkey on the other end? That was so lifelike. <laughs> or a great Danish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. And, and what is your, this is your cousin? Well, it was a family I lived with when I was a student there. Oh, I see, so no relation. Well, we think of each other as cousins, And right? what, is, what is his name? H Hans Eric. Hans Eric, hello. Yeah, hello. Hi, you understand English? Yes, I do. Yeah. I am I in the radio now? Yes, yes you, you are. are. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What time is it there? Well, it's uh, uh, half past ten. Half past ten, okay. And you're in Denmark. Well, today is World Hello Day. Huh? But we thought it'd be more fun to have you gobble. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Am I going to gobble again? Well, if you want. <laughs> would, would you like to? No. You know, actually, you know, it's not gobble, gobble, gobble. It's like... They, they say they say their things differently. Like, how does a dog make a sound? How's huh, Eric? Well, uh, hop, hop, hop. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, dogs are really furry with real long ears over there. <laughs> Everything oh, is different. The dog, I thought it was a duck. <laughs> oh, 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 a duck goes hop, hop, hop. <laughs> See, we don't have ducks. We have pigeons with real big feet. Man, we need sea and saves from around the world. Well, tell him uh, hello and, and thank you so much. Uh, talk to Scotty Hay. The uh, VCC, I just got a telephone. Uh, uh, ultra, oh, God, I'm about to speak Spanish. <laughs> now I'm speaking Spain English. Oh, control yourself. <laughs> you and explain all this so you don't think I've gone insane. Yeah, that's fine. I thought you were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll call us later on. I will. Yeah. Goodbye Bye. from the United States. Yeah, good night. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, he's, yeah. Not, he's not like real thrilled with us, I don't think. They're, they don't They don't get too excited, you know. No. I can, well, no. he was excited to talk to you, but me, it was like, you know, just grunt. He was trying to figure it out. Well, listen, I'd like to be around when you actually call back and explain this to him. I will. But, Craig, you did a great job. Thank you. And we, you know, 30 seconds stretched into like three, four minutes, but what the heck, you got the tickets anyway. Ah, uh, thanks. Okay? Okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. And hold on. Okay. All right, there you go. 445 at 610 WIOD. Now, before we step back out into the parade route, Marvin, we have some other people who want to make long-distance calls standing by. What do we have so far? Well, it all depends. I mean, we can go back out and we'll come back in. I just want to tell them so they don't hang on forever. We can time this thing. We can start and stop the parade at will. I mean, we are the reviewing stand. So we'll go out for a little while and do some more of the parade. We'll come back in. Okay, tell them to hang on. Who do we have? What countries are we going to? Sweden, Malaysia, uh, Panama. <laughs> Sounds like he wow. works down at Miami Airport, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and open the door, Suds. Okay. Here we go. Just in time, oh, too. Oh, man. This thing is just huge. You know, now we're about in the center of it. And as far as you can see, either way is yeah. Parade. This is the 42nd annual Turkeys on Parade. We just had Pete Rose come by, Cher, Lawton Child, Walkin' Lawton. And now look at here, sons. There's Bob Martinez. And he's dressed up like Count Dracula. And no one even notices the difference. Yeah. And look at that. His float says, Fangs for the memories. And no matter what, I'll always go to bat for you. Well, this is the last year for Bob. Yes, I'm sure it will be. Oh, look at here. Oh, 
Oh, there's Dan Quayle. Well, Dan Quayle couldn't be here, but oh. we do have the Dan Quayle helium head float again this year. Wait a minute. Well, that's not the helium head, Rick. That is Dan. He was able to make it. Darn. Fooled me again. You know, just like the helium head, Dan's head's so darn light and puffy. Yeah, and they and they also each have a slow leap. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for being here, Dan. Oh, look, son. Oh, oh man. one of our favorites. There's Rebecca Paul. Boy, has she done a lot to pull this state together. You can say that again. Every Saturday night, she's got us by the balls. Hey, oh, there's, there's Elvis. Elvis. Uh-oh, this is an ugly float. There's Saddam Hussein. And look, his float is done like a giant McDonald's. Huh. And he's sitting there with a sack over his head. Now, what's that? Oh, wait a minute. I, I get it, I think. He's Baghdad, and he's having a big rack attack. Ah! What a crowd this pleaser. Oh, look at this, Rick. It's... It's She's coming right over here to the reviewing stand. She's coming right over here now. Ow! Jeez. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. She's, She's slapping, slapping his pillow. Hey. Spanks a lot, Zsa Zsa. Yeah, and spanks again. I don't know if that will be back next year either. One can only hope. Yeah. Well, look at that. She's being, being followed by Le Leona Helmsley, Tammy Faye. And Bess Meyerson. Wow. And look at that. Bess is trying to put one of the floats under her coat. And Leona's right behind her trying to ride it off. Both the float and the coat. Wow. And look at that. Tammy is leading the way. You know, she's actually crying so hard that she's hosing down the parade. <laughs> hey. But it's great for the drought, don't you yeah. think? Yeah, and we should sure. mention that this year, Tammy Faye's tears are all recycled in order to save water. That's right. Oh, and look at that. Somebody near and dear to her heart. Mm -hmm. Jim Baker. And look at how slow that float's going. Well, that's because it's got over 40 years. And we should mention his float, also carved out of a giant bar of prison soap, and it's in the shape of a hand, palm up. That's right, Rick. To him, every Sunday is Palm Sunday. Oh, here comes the sports division, Suds. Oh, look, it's the Miami Dolphins. Yeah! yeah. And look at that. Well, I guess there's not enough people at the parade, so they blacked out the float. Wow, how lifelike. Yeah. 449 at 610 WIOD. Whoa! Speaking of WIOD, here comes the WIOD management float. They got us a special gift this year to show us their appreciation. Look yeah. at that. Why, wow, look at that. It's a it's a bouquet of pit bulls. Yeah. And, you know, we're supposed to wear these when we play with them. Oh, what, what the heck? Oh, wow, spam necklaces and baloney belts. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's Elvis. Elvis. Man. Wow. Oh, hey, look at there. It's Larry King's float. Now, Larry couldn't be here this year, oh. but he did send in his place an acrobatic team with a bouncing check. Wow. Just like having you back in town, Larry. Only better. Larry's on his way over here. Okay, let's, let's start Hi, Larry. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, there goes the TV talk show float. And it's got Sally, Oprah, Phil, and Geraldo on it. Wow. Oh, man. Well, look at what, what does it say there? Right on the side of the float. Oh, my gosh. It's got the three most terrifying words in the English language to them. I can't. I can hardly oh, read that. that. Well, it's coming around closer to you now. Oh, it says, see it? Next on Donahue. Those are the three most terrifying yeah, words, huh? Sure is. Can we say those together? Next, Next on, on Donahue. Donahue. Oh, here comes the cable company float. Oh, wait. It's not here. I, I thought it was supposed to be here. Where are they? I don't know. Well, look, they, they said they'd be here sometime between 9 and 5. Oh, wow, how lifelike. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Is that what There's, I think it is? Yes, it is. There's Manuel Noriega on the Department of Transportation float. And they've highlighted his face, proving there is something rougher than I-95. Wow, and look at that, Rick. Noriega's face is mounted right on Freddy Krueger's body. And, and their theme this year is Nightmare on Every Street. Wow. 
And look, here comes the new I-95 float. And just like the real one, it's years late, way over budget. Oh, look at there, Sud. Oh, boy. Well, I didn't expect people... them to show up. No. A lot of people hope not, no. but uh, here they are. It's two live crew. And look at that. It's in the shape of a giant void. Well, of course, that's symbolic of their talent, Rick. And uh, look at that. They're, they're throwing out copies of their Christmas album. Well, this year it features such favorites as Little Bummer Boy. And I'll be home for Christmas, bitch. What a crowd pleaser that Thanks is. Thanks for being here, guys. Maybe we ought to just take a breather, shall we? Well, I think so. If we can move to another radio station. Let's, <laughs> let's take a check on traffic. We'll be back with the 42nd Annual Turkeys on Parade on 610 WIOD. Technical glitches this afternoon, but it is Rick and Suds. We're broadcasting live from the 42nd annual Turkeys on Parade. I'll tell you what, Suds, the crowd is just getting out of control, and I think the uh, crowd control is going to have to do a little reorganizing. No. So why don't we step back inside, and maybe we can make one of our world hello calls before 5 o'clock. Well, that's a good idea. Get back inside and finish this wiener. Well, I always like to eat at the parade, don't you? Okay, let's go. Okay. Ooh, wow, it's quiet in here, isn't it? it sure is. This is, uh, I'm just overwhelmed. The parade is just fantastic. I have a feeling some of them may be doubling back after 5 o'clock, so if you miss some of the parade, or if you're just going to get out of work around 5 o'clock, don't fret. We'll be glad to recap and, of course, feature some of the uh, floats all over mm -hmm. again. It's 4.57. Now, we have somebody in Sunrise. Hello? Yeah, hello, Rick. Yes, sir. How are you doing, Rick and Sud? Well, we're just Fine. doing great today. How are you, sir? Oh, the parade is beautiful. Well, th oh, it is. It it's is. just, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's magnificent. Well, I'm glad I wish you can I could be there. You can see it all the way from sunrise, huh? I wish I could be there. No, we just hear a little bit of the noise over here. Oh, I no, see. Well, okay. Probably, yeah. Well, listen, what is your name? Izzy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, we just okay. both wanted to launch into bad puns, but we won't, Izzy. No, but that's serious, too. Now, you have somebody in Brazil? Yeah. Okay. That's my sister. Okay. Anastasia. You think you can get... What kind of a phone are you on, Izzy? It's that little beepy thing. Huh? What kind of a phone are you on? Oh, I'm putting... Is that okay? I'm recording this, so when I go there, I'll, I'll show it to her. Oh, I see. You're not calling from the police department, are you? <laughs> Operator, we're on the air at WIOD radio station. Yes. We would like to call Brazil. Where exactly in Brazil, Izzy? It's uh, area code over there. It's 432. And the phone number is 22... One six one eight. Okay. Now, where in Brazil it's, is uh, this? The country season? code over there, it's uh, 1155. Okay. Okay, where exactly in Brazil that's is it? south of Brazil. Oh, south, south of, that's, of isn't south of Brazil like in the ocean? <laughs> no, it's uh, if you... Uh, What's the town? The town is called Londrina. Oh, Londrina. Ooh, yeah. That's what I got to do It's two states too. below, three states below Rio. Okay. Well, Izzy, we're really short on time, so we're going to ask, uh, you know, you 30 seconds to get her to gobble like a turkey and say hello, and then you're on your own. In Portuguese, right? You got it. Okay. okay. And, of course, you speak fluent Portuguese. Yes. Okay. And Ukrainian, too. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> we <laughs> were just stalling here, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a language that would hurt, doesn't it? <laughs> now, what time is it down there now, Izzy? Three hours different. Okay. Hello. 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 Anastasia. Sim. Oi, como vai? Oi, meu amor. Boa tarde. Olha, Anastasia. Tell her we're on the radio Oi. there, Izzy. Okay. Uh, listen. Uh, good job. Nós estamos no rádio aqui nos Estados Unidos. Você está no ar. Sim. Você está falando no ar aqui para milhões de americanos estão te escutando. É verdade. É verdade. Você tem que, você tem que imitar o peru para mim. <laughs> tem que me dar o peru para mim ganhar um prêmio. Eu tenho que fazer glu 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 glu. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah. it. Glu 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 glu. All right. Oh, Sorry, muito bem, muito bem. That was great. <laughs> Somebody... Tá escutando? Tá escutando os locutores? <laughs> Sim. Now say o... say olá, Izzy. Ah? Uh? Say olá because it's World Hello Day. Oh, ah, this... sim, Anastasia, hoje estamos telefonando para você, esse telefone é grátis, eles que estão pagando, é o dia de fazer alô 
para o mundo inteiro. Opa! Então, alô para o mundo. É? É. Então, que beleza, que alegria para mim, Jô. É, Anastácia. Show de graça, Paul. Vamos falar um pouco de ucraino para eles. Ucraino? É. Tem alguém que entende ucraino? Não, não, não. Fale, anyway. Say goodbye, Izzy. Say goodbye. Uh, <laughs> uh, did she say goodbye? Dovidenia, hospodenia. Dovidenia, dovidenia. Yeah, I think, huh? I think he's blessing us. Uh, say, no. go say goodbye. Bastante, até a próxima. Oh. Muito obrigado. Oh, meu amor, quando é que você vem pra cá? Fala comigo. Oh, em fevereiro, oh, no. ok? She's as angry as can be. Fevereiro. Goodbye. Ah, não, mas goodbye. escuta, conversa comigo, oh, mãe. Oh, she's chewing Depois. you out. Depois. Aham, uh -huh, tchau. Take a bye. Tchau. Tchau. Tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau. Tchau, tchau. Glu, 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 glu. Ok. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's the same sound that old horses at the dra racetrack make. Glu, 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 glu. <laughs> gee, yeah, gee, that was great. <laughs> you have some explaining to do, pal. I will. You, you hold on, okay? Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. You too, guys. Okay, and hold on, and we'll set you up with your tickets. We'll be back on 610 WIOD. Merry Christmas from South Florida's News Traffic. Five ten at six ten W I O D an absolutely gorgeous Wednesday. If you're just joining us, you're right in the middle of the forty second annual Turkeys on Parade. It's also World Hello Day. Hey, well, they're awfully excited. And uh, <laughs> I guess. And we have called all over the world today. Originally, when we started out at two o'clock today, being World Hello Day, we have tried. Uh, on numerous occasions and haven't been successful in trying to call all the way around the world back to ourselves. Now, we got a hold of three people down at the um, at AT&T, and finally we have somebody who's working on that. They're going to get back to us next week. We may be able to do it in time for Christmas, but what we thought we'd do anyway is call to a variety of countries, extend the hand of brotherly love and friendship here in the USA, and get people to gobble like a turkey. And if the person now, we have asked some people to call in, uh, we've had countries, we've, we've done uh, Denmark, we have done Brazil, we have done England, we tried Paris, nobody was home in Paris. Iceland. Iceland, Re it wasn't Reykjavik, was it? Just some, I, I'm not sure. Some place in Iceland. Um, where else have we done, Marvin? We just, we've called all over today. Yeah. It's just been a phenomenal day. Now, who do we have up next? Sweden. Okay, Sweden. we're going to be doing Sweden, and we'll do that in a little while. We're going to go back out to the parade in just a couple of minutes. Uh, so basically, that's the show this afternoon. Now, the parade is continuing. We're going to go out there and join it. We should mention that if you have missed some of the parade, we've gotten some of the floats to double back. We appreciate that. We want everybody to get the entire parade this year. So don't worry about anything. We will recap everything before 6 o'clock tonight. 516 at 610 WIOD, the 42nd annual Turkeys on Parade in progress. Are you ready? Oh, man, I'm set. Okay, Here open the door. Here we go. I gotta tell you, Suds, I'm whelmed. This is, I just, I'm absolutely whelmed. This has been the most unbelievable turkeys on parade we've ever seen. You know, we should probably mention, earlier we had Supreme Court Justice nominee John Souter come by, and the crowd was really bored. Well, it turns out it was David Souter. Yeah. No wonder they were bored. They didn't know who the hell, I mean, David was boring enough, but John, who the hell is this oh, guy? Brother. So they'll probably be doubling back, and a new guy may be on that float. Now... We should probably recap the people that just went by. We had Manuel Noriega, the I-95 float, two live crew just went by, and that brings us up to date because, look, oh, there's our friend Miami Beach Commissioner Abe Hirschfeld. Here he comes. Hey, Abe. Hey, you're just walk walking along there by yourself. Why don't you stop over here and spit a spell? Oh, look at that, Suds. Wow. Oh, Saj, he's spitting on the Tom Jigga floats. <laughs> oh, wait, let's get him to stop. Oh, hey, Tom, cut it out. Stop. None of friend Tom stop, eh? Well, he won't stop. We should probably mention the Tom Jigga float is done entirely in his newspaper column, which say nothing but Neil Rogers over and over again millions and millions of times. And with the... Abe spitting on them like that. All the needles are starting to run together, kind of forming a giant brown nose. Wow, how lifelike. 
You know, we should also mention the float is being powered entirely from sunlight being reflected off of Tom's head. Wow. That's science. That's life. Only that. There's XWIOD employees Joy Reynolds, Bill Marshall, Randy Martin, and Stan Major. Hi, hi guys. Hi, hi. You know, they've gotten together, Rick, and they've formed a singing group now. It's called The Rolling Phones. Wow, that's kind of neat. Yeah. Oh, look, they're featuring their three new songs. I heard it through the phone line. Have you seen your mother, baby, calling on the hotline? And Midnight Mumbler. All right. Thanks for being here, guys. That's great. There you go. Hold on. Oh. Look at this. <laughs> here comes the W-I-O-D float. It's actually done in two floats this year, float A and float B. And look at that. Everybody's running around saying, well, which one are we? How lifelike. Oh, and such, such. There's Millie Vanilli. Look at that. They're trying to get their act back on track by teaming up with Liza Vanilli and Gino Vanilli. Hmm. Well, so now that means from now on they're going to be known as Millie Vanilli, Manelli, and Vanilli? Millie Vanilli, Manelli, Vanelli. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you should have said. You know, Millie Vanilli, <laughs> originally before all this came about, yeah. they were just going to go back to their roots and call themselves by their original name, the Beatles. Well, just be thankful they weren't joined by Meg Tilly and Mickey Gillis. Ooh. I know oh. I am. Here comes the World Series float. Look at that, son. That's right. And you know, this series was not only unique in the fact that the underdog took it in four, but the Reds and the A's were the only two teams ever to sound like hemorrhoidal control group.